Hey everybody, Duke Senpai, number one Senpai in the world, uh, back at it again. Today I'm going over uh, Blade X Lord, uh, or Blade Cross Lord, Cross Lord, okay? So um, so as you all know, uh, this channel is all about mobile games, mobile apps. Um, so today going over uh, another mobile game, this one came out not too long ago uh, as I'm recording this. So first off, uh, the graphics in this game is very, very well done, and there's voice actors, which is which to me is amazing. Um, so like during the cutscenes, sometimes you'll hear uh, the voice actors talk, and then even when you're using uh, when you're using your skills, right? Uh, when you're in battle, you could also hear the voice actors, uh, you know, do their thing. So um, so right off the bat, let's just go and uh, do a quest. And right now, as far as I know, there's two different types of quests. So the one for the story, that will cost you zero energy. So like that one right there. As you can see, if I depart, it'll cost me zero. And then you have these uh, loopable ones. So one thing I like about this game is that it gives you the option to uh, auto farm. So, so for example, right here, chapter six. Um, so if I go on that, so this will cost me nine energy. Uh, per round so if I go to part right so up here you could choose to use the type of energy that you have so for example I have 30 I have uh, what was it one that recovers 30 and then the high energy one that recovers 60 uh, so I got 53 of these 91 of these so I could turn these on and then down here uh, so you could have it do it as many times as you want so if I want to max it out at 999 there's definitely no way that uh, I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, so I could just leave it at that. And then I could also click on auto restart. So once the energy refills, it'll start again, you know? So, um, so if I set out uh, and then bada bing, bada boom. And on the right side, you'll see that, that there's a quest. So if I leave this turned on, it will automatically do that. And then power saving. So if I turn this, power saving on then it's supposed to save more energy and then the screen kind of turns a little more black then in the background you can kind of see that uh that everything is just autoing right there so hold on let me just turn this off real quick and then up here auto is on uh so i'm gonna turn that off so i could go over some of the uh some of the gameplay so over here if i tap the screen it will automatically dash to the opponent and ooh man i'm gonna I want to knock these jabronians out real quick and then down here right down here you got four skills so so it goes by um, how I'm uh, viewing it is that like the very first one all the way to the left that one will cool down the fastest so it's like essentially like a, a skill a skill that you can spam right and then this one you know cools down you know the second fastest and then so on and so forth and then the last skill for this particular character is like my finishing skill. So it does a ton of damage. And if I swipe to the left, so there's, so right now I have it set on, um, what was it, everybody like kind of attacks on their own. And then you also have focused attack. So everybody will target the same, uh, the same person I'm targeting and then hold back. So this is when everybody is, uh, is kind of more conservative with their skills. Like they're not focused on attacking um, you know, they're fo like they will attack like hold on here. I'll set the I'll set this in just a second and then assemble That's just when everybody gathers together So it'll have descriptions right here as you can see um, So oh whoops, so if I and I want already, okay, so you can see uh, the, So I turned off the autoing so all of that uh, was So that's why I only looped once because um, I turned it off um, but yeah, that's the cool thing about this game. So I think the layout looks actually very, very similar to, uh, to Final Fantasy uh, Brave Exvius. Like if you look at the map, it's, it's like a carbon copy of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Like you have uh, these different stages you could go to and then once you enter it, you could, uh, you could start fighting and then choosing what you want to do. And then over here, if you click on the magnifying glass, you could also see the drops. So as you can see over here, they actually have a chance to drop tickets. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of games do that, man. So that's one thing I do appreciate about this game is that they actually uh, have a chance of dropping stuff that you could use to summon for more things, right? 
So that I kind of do like about the game. And then also, again, uh, just to wrap up the farming part, so the loopable. Uh, so for games like Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, um, before what you had to do, right, was you had to set up a macro. So if you were playing, um, if you were playing on uh, your phone or your uh, computer, you could set up a macro to kind of help you, like, you know, click things through. So you could kind of farm uh, a specific stage uh, for materials or uh, just to build up. Um, so in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, it was what's called trust. In this game, it's called bond. So you want to build those up so you can get more rewards. And but yeah, for this one, you don't have to set up a macro, and actually, it has a power saving thing. So that I do dig. But um, but yeah, so that's the part I like about uh, the loopable um, quest. Now over here, the one that caused zero. So this is going to be like the story or the campaign. And. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so right here, so if I tap, you can see I will just dash right into, right into, uh, right into the target. And then if you want to switch targets, you can just swipe, so now I'm targeting that one, and then that one. Alright, so, so back here, I wanted to go over, so if I hold back, right, so, so just look at how everybody is attacking, like they're being more conservative. Um, so they're kind of, like, just just backing off but if I do individual attack all right bada bing bada boom right all right and then if I swipe to the right so I could also use um, items so right now all I have with me is uh, the potion so if I wanted to heal someone someone looking kind of crusted right there uh, I could do that okay but yeah let's just finish these guys off and then all right so down here you also see like a bar, so so right now three three bars charged up. So if I use, for example, this one, so this guy, he, Angel's Halo, it's like a, it's like a, a limit burst, you know? So that one will heal everybody. And then, okay, all right, ooh, man, this, these guys are... All right, so I'm gonna finish this guy off. Hopefully I could um, show you what a soul burst is. These guys off right here. All right. All right. So here we go. This is the boss. Okay. So one thing um, that you'll see about this game is that there's something called a. Uh, it's like a guard break, right? So once they're in a, like a staggered stage, they will do a ton of damage, and they will be vulnerable. So let's see if we could do that. I'm pretty sure we could pull it off. Um, and then up here, you can see the boss. Like you can see how uh, like we are at with the uh, with the guard break. So right now, I still have quite a bit to do. And then hold on, let's use let's use his skill right here, Blaze Dragoon, because that one's supposed to do a ton of break damage. All right, and here we go, like a soul burst. So when you activate your soul burst, right, um, all of your skills, okay, there we go, we broke the enemy. So you can see he's staggered. And then, and then you can kind of just go all in and you can do tons and tons of damage. Like you can see up there the, uh, like the total damage that I've done so far. So, so right there, soul burst, what that does is that all of your skills will cool down a lot quicker. And instead of having like a, a limit burst skill like the rest of the people, um, all you get is a soul burst. So you don't get like a cool animation like this, unfortunately. Um, so all you, all you get is a soul burst and that just cools down your, uh, your skills a ton, man. So alright, there we go. So let's just keep going, keep going. There, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have no problem killing this guy. And oh my god, my dude, my dude died. I didn't even, I didn't see that, man. <laughs> All right, there we go. So let's see, we should be able to break this guy one more time. Uh, pretty soon. So even if you don't have a skill that specifically breaks, all of your skills will do some, uh, some breaking. 
but um, but yeah, all right. Let's see. Let's see, baby. And then, ooh, 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 and all right, there we go. So we did it, we won. And we knocked that guy out. And I swear, man, I th I'm pretty sure the, the voice actor for uh, this guy, uh, what was it, Heart Belt, is the same voice actor as Levi from Attack on Titan, man, I, I swear. All right, so now you see, you get a little cutscene. Um, unfortunately, there's no voice acting in this one, so, uh, but that's okay, that's okay. So let's just skip that real quick. Okay, so there you go. So that's that's pretty much the gameplay. Uh, so okay, so let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go to the banner. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everybody's favorite part. So for this game, um, I'm not sure if it's a limited time or whatnot. But before when I uh, first joined the game, you get uh, what was it, like a really special banner that requires you to use, um, let's see, I forgot what these are called. I think these are called blade stones, um, or diamonds. Of course it's diamonds. So in this game, you have three different type of currencies. So you have Zell, which is up here. The Right now I have 321,000. So Zell is uh, your gold coins. And then Lord Stones is like the in-game currency you use to like, uh, to basically summon. And then uh, the diamonds here uh, is the paid version of that. So you could pay for diamonds, and then you could all you could use that to uh, summon, or you could get Lord Stones, um, which is this uh, yellowish diamond up here. So Lord Stones, you could get those just by uh, playing through the game, doing events, um, that kind of thing. And then you also have tickets. So over here they have a. They have a bunch of different type of tickets, man. So there's, so, oh, silver material, huh? I wonder if this is new. Um, but anyways, so the silver is to summon like normal garbage. Um, let's see, so when I summoned on silver, I did get a yellow weapon, so it's not limited to just silver stuff. So I'm pretty sure that applies to the gold stuff too. So you have gold material. And then, uh, so this one's weapons, this one's, so yeah, you can also kind of see on the, like the icons. So this one, so like the silver one right here only shows a weapon, so you're only summoning for weapons. This one shows a unit and a weapon right here, so the SR guaranteed plus. Um, so that one shows a unit and a weapon, so that one's summoning for both. And then also you can see down here the guaranteed SSR. Um, so one's for weapon, one's for unit, one's for both unit and weapon. So they kind of have it separated, which is, uh, for the tickets it's nice, but I kind of still wish that for the banner they kind of separate everything too. Um, so for example, let's look at this one. So over here you can see uh, the summon details. So this kind of just goes over the banner, so I'm not going to go over that. And then the offering rate, so the summon rates. So okay, so up here you see uh, SR is 24, R is 66, SSR though is 10%. And before, you know, when I was, uh, when I was going over Dragon Quest, I said 7% uh, was pretty amazing. 10%, now that's that's pretty darn good, man. 10%, that's pretty darn good. Um, but again, you're summoning... You're, the banners doesn't separate the weapons from the units, unfortunately. So, like, over here you can see, um, out of this 10%, 6% is a unit, 4% is a weapon. So... Um, so again, it's a game where they separate the weapons from the units, but at least you're not summoning for equipment. I mean, they do have equipment here, um, but it's only in the form of accessories, so I could go over that real quick. Um, so for example, this guy, right? Uh, oh, whoops. So like over here, you can see, um, oh, and that's the thing. You have a weapon, you have a main weapon, which is the one they're using to attack with, and then the sub weapon which is kind of there to just uh, just kind of boost you even further. And then I, get, I think, um, like, what was it? like So this one also has, like, a uh, what was it, like a special skill, like, down here. Increase attack and M attack of all light allies. So that's kind of why I have it there. And then every single uh, unit have their own special equipment that they could equip. So, like, you know, like, swords or staffs or uh, lances, like, that kind of thing. And then over here, this is the part I'm talking about. So you don't have 
Um, you don't have equipment, but you have accessories. So uh, accessories, you can get those two ways. So accessories, you could either create them. So like over here, I have, oh, hey, I think these are new. But, um, but, any, but anyways, you could uh, either create them. So these are the rep recipes that I have uh, for the accessories. And then you could also buy them from your guild part, uh, from the guild that you're in. Uh, unfortunately, right now there's nobody selling any, so uh, so I can't really show you that. But as you can see, you could sell your own accessories too after you make them. So like this one, the power bracelet, uh, that's an SSR or the the rainbow one. Um, so this one I actually bought from my guild. So there you go. And then over here in the event, so so this one lists all the auto loopable quests and then day of the week. So uh, this is. Uh, so for this one, these are only for quests that's open on certain uh, certain days. So like, uh, well, like what was it? This one you can see it's open on Wednesdays, and then Saturdays, Fridays, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, that kind of thing. And then Brave Story. So as you progress through the game, you could uh, basically play through or not play through. You just watch or read uh, kind of the backstory, the lore of each character uh, that you have, and then you could. You get a reward, all right? And that's why you want to build up your bonds. So like you can see like right here, the main character I have, uh, I think his name's Ride, I have 50%. Um, I'm actually almost done with that guy, huh? But yeah, and over here, Unfulfilled Promise, this is the event. So as you can see right here, they also have auto loopable quests for, uh, for the event, which is nice. And then over here, the trading posts, so this is a grinding event, and uh, you can exchange it for goodies, right? And then over here, as you progress, you know, you get stuff, okay? Um, but yeah, I think I went through pretty much everything the game has to offer. Um, so just gonna, just, just gonna wrap this up real quick. Overall, the game is pretty good. Uh, it's, again, it's very... To me, the layout and the way you progress through the game is just really similar to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So it's kind of like that, except it's 3D, and you get to move around while, uh, you know, while you're uh, fighting, um, while you're engaging in a quest, right? Uh, which is also really cool. Um, the voice acting is good. Music is pretty good. Not gonna complain about that. But uh, but the one thing uh, I'm kind of not down with is uh, having day of the week quest so if you're like trying to farm for something specifically so right now i'm still pretty early in the game so there's nothing i'm trying to farm for but um but i just don't like how they're like putting it putting a block on it like just based on days of the week i think they should have like a dungeon uh where you could just you know grind till your heart's content you know um so that's the only part I kind of don't like and actually when this game first launched there actually wasn't any events going on uh, which is I don't know because I thought that was kind of weird so for a global launch you would think that they would put like a bunch of events or fun or a bunch of free goodies right but that wasn't the case um, when I was playing this all I could do was go through the quest right so like right here so all I could do was just pretty much go through the quests and the story and the campaign, right? That's pretty much all I could do. But now they have an event and the event is just a grinding event. So, I mean, they're supposed to have like trials and stuff. Um, so like you can see here, but it's still locked. Um, which to me is still a little weird why they wouldn't just have all this stuff unlocked in the beginning. But, uh, but, but there you go. Um, so Blade X Lord overall pretty good game hopefully they you know they implement more stuff i mean i get it it's still pretty early but for a global launch i just kind of expected a little bit you know more stuff but um but yeah overall the game is still pretty good i'd say give it a try uh if you like final fantasy brave exvius this the battle system is a little different it's more intuitive or not intuitive uh interactive typical turn-based game you actually have to move around and kind of navigate through the thing 
And then uh, the auto loopable uh, quest though, I really love that part about this game because we all know players want to farm, but they don't actually want to you know, physically play through every single stage, right? So having that feature I feel like is, is a step in the right direction. More games should have that. Okay, so, uh, so yep, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, please hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with my stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, man. Uh, peace. Bye.